Hey gamers, Foxfires here with a quick Arc Age video on leveling to 55 with the launch of Secrets of Ionad and Diamond Shores. There are a few ways to level with the release of the new content. One of the most popular is Farming Library and Diamond Shores, but there are a couple of other unconventional ways to level too, namely Xperia Invocations. Xperia is a large farming object about the size of a large animal pen that you place on your farm or land. There are different kinds that mature at different times for a one-time turn-in of a large amount of XP. You can check out my first video on Xperia in the annotated link to get more details. But is Xperia really worth it? I'd say probably not. Testing out several Xperia ducks, which mature in 24 hours, I found that they each only give a few percent, averaging about 3% XP each. About half the time, the random number generator would mature them into a giant duck, which was only worth 2% XP at level 50, and the other half the time they turned into giant swans that were worth 4% XP at level 50. All five of my Xperia ducks gave me roughly 10-12% to total. So this doesn't make Xperia a fast leveling option, especially considering the maturation time of 24 hours and space limitations. You can only get a few of these Xperia on your farm or land at any one time, regardless of which flavor you pick. The duck, the pumpkin, sunflower, or the 48-hour pine. So at the rate of a few percent each per day, it would take ages to level by this method. One thing to note, too, is that the Xperia requires 120 labor each to harvest, so make sure you've got plenty of labor stored up. Also, only the labor component benefits from vocation tonics and not the subsequent large XP sum reward by the NPC. However, that actually brings us to vocations, which is a much more feasible way to level quickly. If you missed the trick the first time around with the game launch, the idea is to burn through as much labor as possible as fast as possible using a vocation tonic. The vocation tonics can be purchased on the auction house or for credits, and they double the amount of XP gained through vocations. To maximize your labor, you can use worker compensation labor pots, and they can be purchased from the auction house, credits, or patron loyalty. Worker compensation pots restore a thousand labor, but have about a 12 hour cooldown per character. So during launch, players created four different characters and quickly leveled them to 15 to meet the minimum level requirement to drink the pot. And if the pots were consumed twice a day on all four characters, this increases the daily labor by 8,000. What's more, try an awarded compensation packages to patrons containing 15 superior workers' compensation potions that can restore 500 labor each, with no cooldown. Given the ease that you can burn through labor these days, the vocation tonic is never the limiting factor. It's labor. And that's fine because you can log out with the vocation tonic still active, and it'll still be there when you log back in. So this gives players that don't have a whole lot of time to play the opportunity for the fastest leveling per minute of playtime. I took my time here buying mats, running around, and shifting between different vocations of varying labor intensity based on a balance between speed and usefulness for me. But if you make a plan beforehand and prepare any materials you might need, like buying reagents off the auction house, or emptying your bags for space, etc., you'll be able to conserve much more of the time on your vocation tonic. For a miner and metal worker like myself, I have more than 10,000 iron ore sitting in my bank. And with my proficiency in metalworking, I can do mass productions of iron ingots at 40 labor a pop. That burns through labor fast. But you can get even more ludicrous with the labor burn by crafting armor, which costs hundreds of labor, or by making construction tool bundles, which requires no proficiency in anything at all. Construction tool bundles only need 10 iron ingots and cheap blue salt wedges. Each one of these bundles sells for 3 gold. 3 gold for 10 iron ingots and no proficiency requirements, you say? How does that work? Well, the catch is that they burn 100 labor. So that's actually still pretty good, considering that's roughly the same labor use and profit for a trade pack turn-in off many of the different types of domestic trade runs, all for the push of a button. Granted, you can't flood the market all at once with these. Another perk is that this strategy is available to players of any level, not just those that are level 50 plus, like the Xperia requires. Whether you're farming library, Xperia, or vocations for XP, have fun out there. And as always, thanks for watching gamers. I'm Foxfires, and this has been a quick video on leveling with Xperia and vocations in Arc Age.